Somalia's national elections begin on Sunday when the 54 members of the upper house of the National Assembly are selected. This process is only expected to take one day. Voting for the lower house of the legislature will be spread over a month from August 10th to September 10th. The senators are really selected by the state presidents and then approved by the legislatures. It is possible for some of the selections to be rejected, but unlikely. Most of the state leaders have a solid majority of supporters in their assemblies. Presumably, these provincial heads choose legislators who will support their agenda and issues in the National Assembly. They also expect them to vote for their preferred candidate or candidates in the presidential race. There are 275 lower house MPs who will also cast their votes for president. With the regional leader seemingly split between supporting incumbent Mohamed Farmajo and opposing him, analysts don't expect Sunday's vote to tip the scales. Puntland President Saeed Denny just returned from a trip outside Somalia to select his slate of senators ahead of Sunday's approval process. He and Jubaland President Ahmed Madobe are Formaggio rivals. The leaders of Galmadug, Urshabeli, Southwest State, and Benadir appear to be in the Formaggio camp. Somaliland's delegation is split between Deputy Prime Minister Mahdi Gouled, a presidential backer, and Senate Speaker Abdi Hashi, a critic. They met with Prime Minister Mohamed Roble Thursday as he continues to try and mend the rift between the two. Roble also had dinner with the Federal Election Committee yesterday evening. The Prime Minister has tried to act as an honest broker to bring all parties together for a credible election. He has been busy shuttling to meetings in the capital, Kismayo, Gado, and other locations where a mediating presence has been needed. The Council of Presidential Candidates has been raising the possibility of delays in the lower house voting for various reasons. And the Al-Shabaab have threatened to disrupt polling, potentially attacking electors as they move to the balloting locations. Each state will provide two locations for depositing the votes. ADN TV will continue to report on Somalia's unfolding election process.